Alright, what's going on guys? Here we are with Perth Burger Hunts or whatever I end up calling it. We are at Alfred's Kitchen. Perth. Best home style burgers in Perth, I'm telling you. Alright, let's get this shit. Alright, just put our order in. We got a hamburger with cheese and bacon, no tomato. Yeah, because Jesse's a bitch. Or, and then we got a normal hamburger, chips, and a large soup. Alright. I'll tell you what though, let me try and zoom in. If you guys do end up coming here, try and get that Alfred special. That thing is amazing. Alright, get back to you when the food's ready, boys. Not much lighting. It's 10 p.m. Located in Guildford, Perth. <laughs> Good old Guildford. The famous PM soup. Some security. <laughs> If you don't add shitloads of salt and vinegar to your chips, you don't know what you're doing. I'm telling you. Salt and vinegar. Alright, we're in the car with our food. Let's bust this out. Ugh. Give me my burger. Alright. I'm assuming that was mine. Let's have a look at this shit. Yeah, boy. Look at that. That's a basic as fuck burger if you've ever seen one, but I'm telling you this thing it slaps. It's pretty basic shit, it's not your like so over the good top burger shop, but can't get better than this. So good. Got this had some cheese and bacon. Add cheese and bacon. Mine's just lettuce and tomato. Got some chips and he got himself a PM soup, which he can give you a review on after the burger. And you gotta have your chips drowned in chicken salt. salt. Vinegar. vinegar. A little sneaky chip stuck to the side. I'm gonna get my wheel out of the way. I'm going in for a bite. Cheers. So good. Just the freshest ingredients. So good. And they're so fat, man. Mm. Big, awesome burgers. Simple home style. God damn, making a mess. It's not complete without a stray fucking bag chippy. With so much vinegar, it's like going through the bag. Perfect amount. Not enough. Alright, I'm gonna pitch a handful of napkins. 
Look at that. That beef patty is just full of onion. So good. Just give him a review on that soup real quick. Now, I'm not much of a soup person, but like, you can't come to Alfred's and not get their pea and ham. Everyone loves it. The signature, right? Yeah. Jake's too much of a bitch to like it, but... It's alright. Look at that. Looks basic, but you can't get any better. Chunks of ham. Fucking voice broke. Look at that. It just feels like a barbecue burger. This one, like a backyard barbecue, but it's so done well. This shit is so good. You, it's like a rule of thumb you can't come to Alfred's and not leave with extra pea and ham soup after this. I'm gonna go get extra to, to eat at home, eat it up. Don't give that a go. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Quite smoky. Yeah. Mm. You can see why everyone likes it. I made it for the burger, so hell yeah. making a mess in this car. All right, last bit for me. I know it doesn't look like much, but I'm telling you, these burgers are amazing. If you ever get the chance or opportunity to come down here, Alfred's Kitchen in Guildford, Perth, do it. Aioli. It's not a kebab shop aioli, but <laughs> garlic sauce, but it's fucking good. Let me have a try that aioli. It's not bad. It's a very bland aioli, to be honest. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> it's bland, but it's pretty good. <laughs> Let it sit in my mouth for a second. Jack smashed the burger, I've still got over half left. Tell you what guys, Alfred's is the place to go. It's bloody good. Probably in the next video we'll hit up Hood Burger. That will look a bit better, I'll tell you what. But can't beat Alfred's. Alright, well give me your final opinion, Jessa. I think it's pretty fucking fat. Like, you're talking about a wood burger, like that's more of your standard... Yeah, it's like a standard like cheeseburger, burger yeah. It's good shit. But look at that, just... It looks like, like a mess, it's just a basic cheeseburger. Home style. Yeah, home style as... Bloody good. It's, it's own thing, good. you know? Yeah, own thing. It's pretty fat, man, I'll give that like a... You doing ratings on this? Yeah, let's go for a rating, what would you rate it? Well, I don't want to set the bar too high because there's obviously really fucking good burgers out there, but I'd say like a very good 7 out of 10, 7.5. I would say and if you're, if you're looking for a homemade really burger, good. just basic, something good, that's a 9. If you're looking for a homemade Alfred's yeah, is a 9. Or even a 10, Alfred's like a, 9. I'll give that 100%. a 10 for a home style, but. For a home style, 10. Like it can't get much bigger, better than that. If you're looking for that. a fat, cheesy burger, then you'd probably go somewhere else. But, but if we're talking style, for a, just a ba like burgers, just in general, I'd probably give it a 7 or an 8. Yeah, definitely. But if you're looking for something like this, I'm, I'm telling you, oh, it's, it's exactly what you want, eh? 
All right, well, sorry for the horrible lighting the whole time. Fucking pretty fidgety. Don't know what was going on there, but um, yeah. See you guys next time. Look at those chips. Not bad. We've got to talk about the chips much. Ugh. Give me a couple, please. It's like a fish and chip shop chip or a, a pub chip. Sweet.